Now, the previous method is all well and good if you just have a handful of features. Now, imagine if you have a more complex data set like I have on screen here. Now, to achieve a WKT uh, representation, what I'm going to do is right click on the layer, save as, and now I'm going to select comma separated value from the drop down, browse to where I want to store the file. I'm going to give it the name of WKT and click save. Now, important again, change the CRS to a Google friendly one. In this case, ESPG 4326 WGS 84. Now, change the geometry value from the default to as WKT and click OK. Now that's just created a WKT representation, a CSV file with the first column showing us the WKT. Now the next step is to go into PHP My Admin and create a table to store that uh, CSV file we've just created. To do this, click on New. I'm going to call this WKT from CSV. Change the number of columns to three, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, first up, if I remember, it's the WKT field. Now we're going to do this string type medium text. The next step is our ID field. Integer is fine. And next is the name field. I'm going to do this var char 150. Click save and we should create the table. OK, so this looks all good. So now click on import. Click on choose file, navigate to where we've saved the CSV. OK, and click go. Now this could take a long time depending on the size of the file. So it's best to come back in about five minutes and see if it's processed. After about five minutes, the file should have uploaded. In this case, I've clicked on browse and I can see all my data has uploaded. So now I need to do some tidying up. What I can do is drop the ID field and insert a new ID field, but this one, a proper primary key and set to auto increment. This should enable me to edit individual rows. Right, that's worked. The first row has picked up the column names, so I can delete that. No problem. So go back into structure and we're going to add a spatial field, calling this one shape, again set to geometry. That's done. Go into the SQL tab again and update set shape equals geometry from text brackets 
pull over the WKT and click Go. And it's done it. So if we click on Browse, scroll down, we can visualize the GIS data, which is loading. Use OpenStreetMaps as a base layer. And this is now ready for you to do your spatial queries or to display on Google Maps or Leaflet.